Hey Amarno, thanks for taking my call today. I want to take a quick, quick minute here and send you over that video as promised. Uh, you probably concluded when we were on the phone. I am a digital marketer with years of experience. I am born and raised here right in London. I do work for myself. Uh, now, like I had mentioned, uh, I do work with roofing contractors all across the province. Uh, so today I am going to perform a brief audit of your online presence. Uh, as I did have noticed that your uh, brand needs some assistance with your digital campaign. Uh, so I do uh, hope you find this video useful with some tips and tricks I'm uh, about to show you. So if I can get some feedback on that, that'd be great. So in the 21st century here, you know, everybody's going digital. Um, when you do have a strong line, uh, strong online impression, like a website, it can provide you exclusive leads directly to you and no sharing them with anybody else. Uh, so outranking your competition online is the number one way to get those specific leads. So when it comes to Google search, there are many factors that are taken into consideration, like optimized content and lots of it, uh, along with page speed, pictures, topical relevancy, and website outline. Uh, so Google what has what's uh, robots and they crawl web pages looking for that relevant content. So when you perform a, a Google search, uh, like Roofing London Ontario or Commercial Roofs London Ontario, uh, it should bring up your company, uh, your company in the search. Uh, but in this case, I did uh, flat roofing companies in London, Ontario, as I noticed that you guys do a lot of uh, flat top roofing here. Now, that is a very specific keyword. It does have buyer intent. Um, so when I'm looking through the results here, I, I don't see your company listed at all. Um, so the first thing that uh, does show up here is the targeted ads. Then we have the map pack listings and as well as the organic listings. But I want to focus in on this map pack uh, listings here. Uh, just for a minute. Um, so the map pack is the top three businesses in the area. It It is a great way to generate additional leads to your business and pro bono of your website. Um, so now the map pack can be optimized in a few ways. Um, those are with citations, reviews, photos, and relevant content. Uh, so if we optimize a few things, like I had mentioned, it can throw you to the top of that map pack list. Uh, this also goes for potential customers who are using the, the Google Maps application as well. So a citation is uh, anywhere your business name, address, and phone number are showing in any directory online uh, as per your Google business profile. So there's thousands of listings online like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, and some other ones that you may have heard of. So essentially, the more citations that you do have online, the more your Google sees your business as an authority, it will kick you to those top of those rankings. So driving up the citations is a key factor to get into the top of those lists. But there, there are some other ways to uh, assist in ranking uh, you on that list as well that we can take into consideration. Uh, so that's uh, 25 five-star reviews, at least 15 photos, uh, as well as there's an about me section of the profile that has a description of your business. We want to fill that out with at least 500 words of uh, keyword relevant content. And that's really going to help uh, tie everything in together here. So below the, the map pack is the organic listings. Um, again, like I said, you're not listed on there and trust me, uh, nobody goes to the second page. Um, absolutely nobody. 0.7% uh, of people actually click to the second page. So you can see here, uh, everything's flooded with the competition um, and, and in the top positions. So like I mentioned, Google does love content. So the more relative content that you can have on your website with more keywords that you can target, uh, Google can collect that when they crawl the pages. Uh, so on your website here, I would like to see at least 1,500 words of content on the main page and then maybe 750 words minimum on uh, your subsequent uh, pages here. Um, when I look uh, here and I count the uh, words that are on your website, you do have 50 words. So you don't have really any content at all. I have where I went through the whole website and we're going to touch that in a second here. So I, I am unsure if your company solely focuses on uh, commercial or flat top roofing or whether you do some uh, re residential stuff as well. Um, later on, we can maybe talk about that. Um, so what I've actually done uh, based on everything in your services here, I, I, I've searched for um, commercial and flat top uh, roofing competitors. So I want to show you some of your competitors here, show you some of their websites and uh, see, get an idea of what's going on and, and what we can look for. Now, when uh, we're on this website here, we got Courtney Roofing. It does have uh, a nice navigational menu. 
Um, they do specify, they do uh, industrial, commercial, residential. Um, they have a whole bunch of uh, other, other, other things in here. A lot of a call to action button. They can get a free estimate with a click. Uh, scroll down, they have a lot of content, reviews, contact information, and, and whatnot. And same with, uh, with, with other websites as well, like uh, Flat Roofers. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the same thing. A lot of things that are missing from your website uh, that, that should be on there that, that customers do want to see. Uh, David Off Roofing, they, uh, I did notice that they do uh, commercial and, and flat tops as well, so I did throw them in there. Same with Murray Shaw, same thing, very nice website. AM Roofing, although they have multiple locations, um, they do do the same thing here. And as well as, uh, this is an up and coming uh, um, competitor out of Windsor, so they do uh, Southwestern Ontario. Um, so th I've slowly been watching their numbers and they're starting to crawl back up there and they're, uh, they're a place to uh, look out for. So your page speed uh, is pretty good. Um, that's mainly because you don't really have anything on it. So there is a uh, little to no content on it. Like I said, uh, if we do a word count, there is 50 on there. Subsections don't have much relevant information on them either. Uh, as well as your website is not secure. Uh, you can see up here we want uh, a secure website. It's going to have uh, make people uh, who are browsing it make them feel safer in ease of use, as well as a hacker uh, can't uh, just come in and start taking it over. So, like I mentioned, there is a lot of vital information missing from your website, uh, like social profiles, name, address, uh, phone number, reviews, pictures, call to action buttons. There's quite a bit. Um, I would like to uh, maybe discuss on uh, presenting you with uh, with something a little more along that lines. But uh, enough talking about the website. Let's let's get to the nitty gritty here um, and let's see uh, what brings everything together. So I use this program called Arifs. Uh, it analyzes the back end of websites. Uh, it gives us a really good idea of what's going on and what we need to beat out our competitors. Uh, so this is what's called the UR and the DR rating. Uh, short for the URL rating and the domain rating. Uh, those numbers are super important. Uh, so our UR is raised by citations, which are those online directories we had mentioned uh, in the Google Map Pack listings. Uh, so the more directories you're listed, the more Google can make the connection to your business and show in your online presence. Now the DR, uh, it shows how much power the website has and how much it's trusted by Google. And then it gives you a, a score here. And so that score is is uh, raised by how many backlinks you have. And so a backlink is any website article or blog that's referring back to your website, uh, essentially giving it a score and a power. So Google does see it as a popularity contest. So the website with the most backlink referrals wins. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. So when we are grabbing these some, we wanna make sure they're not spammy or unrelevant. Uh, it will affect that DR score as Google does understand relevancy of content. Um, so if I'm able to drive you some solid quality backlinks, it will help drive up traffic and, and the trust factor. And it is a fundamental part of ranking on the first page of Google. Uh, this is the amount of organic keywords that are, uh, are they're ranking for uh, right here. So that's 398 keywords and it's given them a total of 438 views on their web page a month. Uh, so that's just for Courtney Roofing. So let's go over to Flat Top Roofers. Uh, their UR score is pretty good. Their domain rating is not very good, uh, but they do show up in the organic search um, mainly because they do have a lot of backlinks here. So their backlinks aren't giving them a very good trust score. Uh, they can easily be beat out that way, but they are ranking for a lot of keywords, a lot more keywords than, uh, than Courtney Roofing, giving them a total of 377 uh, viewers to their website a month, uh, as well as David Off Roofing. Their citation uh, is really low, their trust score is really low, their backlinks are really low, uh, but they do have a lot of uh, buyer intent keywords they have driven into their content, giving them a total of 311 people to their website a month, uh, as well as Murray Shaw. Um, again, they have a good citation rating, they're not trusted, uh, they do have some backlinks, they have very strong keywords, giving them almost 200 a month, uh, AM Roofing. Uh, again, 16, 22, 90 backlinks, 180 people a month. And like I said, these, uh, these guys from uh, Windsor, uh, Quinn Solutions, uh, they're up and coming. 
Uh, they were having like about 80 on their website about six months ago. Now they're having 140. Uh, so I want to show you yours here. Um, so you don't have any citation data that's online, uh, as well as you are not trusted in Google at all. Uh, you do have two backlinks from two referring domains and only one of them are referring back to your web page. Uh, so it doesn't have enough information to give you a score here. So I do want to grab you some solid backlinks. It's going to drive up your, uh, your, your trust level with Google, uh, as well as you don't have any, uh, uh organic keywords. So like I said, you had 50, 50 words of content on your main page. Uh, we need at least 1500 words of content. We want to drive some targeted specific keywords in there and we want to drive up your organic traffic and get you listed on the top page there. So I appreciate you taking the time and looking at my video. I hope the information that I provide you has given you a better understanding how to properly market your brand can really increase the quality leads to your business. So I'd like to hear back from you as well as your thoughts on what I presented. Um, if you would like to know more about optimizing your digital footprint for your business, uh, we can schedule a deep dive call or meeting. Uh, like I said, I do live here in London. I want to go over some of your goals and I want to devise a plan with you guys and get you at the top of the market. All right. Well, thanks for uh, Take care. Have a good day.